first of its kind study links vaping to long term lung damage. Good evening. I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. Camp Exercise Devin Feely is in San Jose with some surprising findings about using e cigarettes as a tool to quit smoking. Devin? Yeah, for years, the vaping industry has really marketed itself as a safer alternative to traditional cigarettes. But a brand new and groundbreaking study out of UCSF has found that there are some significant problems with those claims. In fact, they say people that smoke and vape at the same time as they try to quit actually put their health at much, much greater risk. The study upends the idea that vaping is a safe alternative to smoking, finding users had increased odds of developing serious lung ailments like asthma, bronchitis, and emphysema. And we found that people who use these cigarettes develop more lung disease than people who didn't use these cigarettes, taking into account any smoking they may have done. The whole purpose of vaping was to quit smoking or to try to switch over. Like many, Chris Wells tried vaping when he twice tried to cut back or quit smoking, but now feels misled by the industry. I think it's just false advertising. I think, it, I think, it, I think it's wrong of them to do that in the first place because I really believed they weren't just safer, that they were actually safe at the time. Researchers say the health impacts they found were independent of the recent outbreak of vaping-related illnesses that sent more than 2,400 to the hospital and is being blamed for the deaths of more than 50 people. I've seen it work for some people, but for me, um, I picked up a cigarette while I was vaping and then I was doing both. And that's who researchers say is at greatest risk, people smoking and vaping together. If you're a smoker and you add e-cigarettes and become what's called a dual user, which is the most common pattern, then the odds of developing lung disease are more than tripled. A sobering statistic for an industry that once claimed to be the answer to traditional cigarettes. They're just kind of like not sure exactly what it is yet, you know what I'm saying? So what they're doing is they're just kind of using our generation or the younger generation as a guinea pig. Now, researchers say that there is a need for more studies on the long-term health impacts of vaping, but they say they don't expect that those studies will fundamentally change their findings that vaping simply is not good for your health. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.